What is wrong with letting people be happy? Can too much hope possibly be a bad thing? Hope is irrational. The Tooth Fairy will be coming soon. The Tooth Fairy? Yep. Every time I lose a tooth, the Tooth Fairy takes it away and leaves a dollar under my pillow. There ain't no such thing as a Tooth Fairy. Then who's leaving the money? Probably your parents. They have both the cash and the access to your room. Why did they lie to me? Because the truth hurts, Jasmine. The world is a hard and lonely place, and nobody gets anything for free. And you want to know what else? One day, you and everyone you know is going to die. <laughs> Is it possible to see something so bad that it actually hurts you physically? In other words, can too much black television kill you? Actually, Granddad, Christmas is a pagan holiday, and Jesus probably hates you for celebrating it. There ain't gonna be no Scrooges in this house, boy. Look, Granddad, it's clear from the scripture that Jesus was not born in winter. The shepherds who saw the angels announcing his birth would not have been out in their fields in December. The Palestinian winters are too cold, if you believe in that sort of thing. The truth is, Christmas evolved from the Roman holiday Saturnalia, a winter festival where men gave gifts to each other. They also would get drunk, have sex with each other, and beat their wives. People would act so crazy on Christmas, the holiday was outlawed by the Protestant church until the 1800s. Uh, you should pray for your friend, Huey. That's all anyone can do for all right, Luke, the king and all the color folks die before What him. makes your God any less made up than like his? Big old dog chocolate. Hey! What the hell is wrong with you people? Every famous nigga that gets arrested is not Nelson Mandela? Yes, the government conspires to put a lot of innocent black men in jail on fallacious charges. But R. Kelly is not one of those men. We all know the nigga can sing. But what happened to standards? What happened to bare minimums? You a fan of R. Kelly? You want to help R. Kelly? Then get some counseling for R. Kelly. Introduce him to some older women. Hide his camcorder. But don't pretend like the man is a hero. And stop the damn dancing! Act like you got some goddamn sense, people! Damn! Don't play around here! Man, can you believe it? In a few days we're gonna have a black president! Aren't you excited, little man? Eh. Eh? What's eh supposed to mean? Just means eh. I'm sorry. Being the bigger man is overrated. I mean, everything we see is a false reality. It's like Big Brother, The Matrix, whatever you want to call it. While we're watching each other, they're watching us all the time. Obi-Wan Kenobi said, your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. It seems to be getting harder. Distinguishing reality from the illusions people make for us, or from the ones we make for ourselves. I don't know. Maybe that's part of the plan, to make me think I'm crazy. It's working. Vision? What do you know about my vision? My vision would turn your world upside down, tear us under your illusions, and send the sanctuary of your own ignorance crashing down around you. Now ask yourself, are you really ready to see that vision? Thanks, Delicious got shot! Again? We got to do something! I got an idea. Let's go to college so we don't end up like Gangs Delicious. <sighs> your pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. It is the bitter potion by which the physician within you heals your sick self. Therefore, 
trust the physician and drink his remedy in silence and tranquility. Khalil Gibran.